Okay, and where are we going now? Pompeii. Pompeii. And Mount Vesuvius. Oh my gosh, are you gonna hike up it? Gonna try. All right. Rolling out of Naples on our way to Pompeii. Made it to Pompeii. We're about to start our walking tour. Peyton is super impressed. <laughs> We're in Pompeii. This is the basilica that they unearthed. Pompeii was one of the trade towns of the Roman Empire, but it's kind of cool to see how the Romans designed it, and it's a very classical Roman area. Whoop! Right? And it's frozen in time because after Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it was like two days after the festival, actually, to the god of the mountain, I think it was. Yeah, it was a, one of their major festivals um, that interrupted the day after, August 24th. The ash, when it, the ash cloud finally, finally came up and then down on the city, it happened so quickly that people were literally just frozen in time. So, um, when they were unearthing things, they found that uh, there is only the skeleton remains, but the way that the ash had formed it had solidified in the exact way that the body was. So they pumped plaster in there, and because of that plaster, we were able to see how things were here um, as far as physical. Things. We'll get to we'll get to see it as we go. It's Peyton will show us around the rest of the way, right? Right, Peyton? Okay. So as we started, Pompeii is actually 600, 700 years old before Vesuvius exploded. And so it's an older, like, well-established town at that point. But Sarah pointed out it was actually, like, perfect middle class. And it's a very transient town because it was actually right beside the sea as well, so a lot of people were coming through here. Okay, so this is um, now the main forum. It's right beside the basilica. And at the far end over there was the Temple of Jupiter. Um, and you're able to see just a little tiny piece of his head left in there. So behind us is Mount Vesuvius. It's right behind this tower thing yep. uh, over this way. And um, it's five miles away. Yep. You can see two peaks now. The original that was here before it blew. Like if you take the two peaks and then draw kind of a triangle. That's how it was up before. So it buried Pompeii, and then the next morning actually is when all the lava came out. But Pompeii escaped the lava because of the way the winds were going. And so about several miles up the road is a town called Herculean that got buried in the lava. Um, Pompeii escaped the lava. They just got all the ash and dust. <laughs> all right. Hi. Uh, uh oh. So this is Via Abodanza. These rocks right here were actually so that it would stay a purely pedestrian street um, and tourists couldn't get in. So in this pedestrian section, there were over 40 bakeries, 30 brothels, and 130 bars. This was a lively area. So this is probably a brothel. Each of these rooms has a little bed area and there's some pretty explicit frescoes above the doors. These look like some of the storerooms of things that they found from Pompeii. And there's the plaster body. Because only the bones remained, it was empty space around where the flesh had decayed. So when they injected plaster, it gave like the perfect form of what had been. Peyton just pointed to that cast and said, baby? Peyton's working her way into the fish and produce market. Out of all the places we've been to, Pompeii is definitely one of her favorites to play on all these rocks. You can see all the <laughs> frescoes over here. So this was the fish and produce market where people would come to buy uh, their meats, fish, produce, bread. This is kind of where it all went down. Peyton's really excited to be here. Come on! She was walking along happily until she realized she was standing on grass. Now she can't move. All right, can you... There you go. There you go. Oh, a rock. This is just outside the public baths, but it's a really pretty little courtyard. Peyton was wrong. So this is one of the formal baths. They used to have a floor underneath that would run hot water. This would be a lot warmer they'd come into. This room here was a cooling area 
or they had cold water that they would come to afterwards. We're just outside the bathhouses. And what's that about? And right here at these, these marble columns, or marble uh, places were the fast food joints. So people would come here and uh, get a little snack afterwards. They were saying that most of the Roman apartments here were so tiny they didn't cook for themselves, so it was common to come out and get food. So it was, you know, soups and wines and, and different foods of the day that they could keep hot or cold in these marble containers. Oh, they could put their pots in here and cover them and keep them warm or cold when people came to buy food. Peyton's scared of the mosaic dog. It says, beware the dog right there. Here's one of the aqueducts that quite like Segovia's. But, <laughs> but it did function the same way. And you can see Vesuvius right through the gap. Right over there. This is the entryway <coughs> to one of Pompeii's biggest houses. And in here is a dancing fawn, similar to our dancing Peyton. These columns were rebuilt after the earthquake in 62. You can see the, the brick underneath and then the fake marble stucco on top. That's funny how they faked it. These are the original lead pipes that brought the water to all the homes. We just came into the house of the Vetti. Hi. Best preserved house here in Pompeii. It has a lot of frescoes and mosaics that you can still see. Even the floor is still pretty. It's touring. The old home. Just getting into a guide, actually. It's amazing how the detail on the walls here. Can you tell us about the <laughs> There's so much detail on all the walls, though, throughout the house. Whoa! Wow. As you can see, there's a lot to know about Pompeii. Okay. So this was the mill and the bakery. Every neighborhood had one. But these things right here, they'd put grain in the top, and then they'd put one in poles through and either have donkeys or slaves just walk around and around, and it would grind the flour, or grind the grain down into flour, which then they would use in these ovens over here for making bread or pizza or whatever they wanted to make for the day. Here's some of the plaster bodies. So it's kind of sobering to see the people um, or the bodies that they've found, but of the 20,000 inhabitants of Pompeii, only 2,000 were found dead here. The rest seem to have escaped from the volcano. We have arrived to the theater. We're about to go inside. Peyton, can you say hi? hi. You snuggling with dad? <laughs> hi, Peyton. We made it to the Fourth. theater. Fourth theater. Yeah. Pula, Coliseum, and Verona. It's true. Now Pompeii. Or Pompeii. Right. All right, go play. Run, Peyton. Are you going to finish an Iron Man here, too? Yeah. Some more of the bodies frozen in time. Peyton! <gasps> there you are! Where'd Peyton go? Where's Peyton? There you, there you are. are! Are the people there? Wrapping up our time here. So we've had a great day at Pompeii. The uh, website was a little wrong on the bus times to get up to the Vesuvius, so unfortunately we couldn't get up there and walk the volcano. Can make it. Stuff for do next time. Sad. Yeah. Right. Still on the to-do list. So All right. Had a great time otherwise. See you in Naples. Ciao. 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 Ciao.